Welcome to the Summer Kenyan Do Sports Complex, which holds the tally center for the Monserrado County. Presently, it is set up to receive results from various polling stations within the Monserrado County. This is being replicated in other counties here in Liberia. In there are representatives of various political parties, observation um, missions from the various um, interested groups, and also in there are some of the officers for the National Electoral Commission who are actually leading the process. So far, it's expected that by 4 p.m. today, the Electoral Commission here in Liberia will release the first phase of um, results that have trickled in so far. It, with me is ECOWAS country rep for Liberia, uh, Madam Josephine Nkrumah. She will be telling us about what exactly is going on in the tally room. Madam, welcome to join us. Um, kindly give us an explanation of what is happening there. Okay, so basically this is really to enforce transparency in elections. And as you know, like many other countries, we have our administrative capitals, our electoral districts, and what have you. So basically what this is doing is that all of the information per county that has been collated from the polling places, these um, results are then put in manual, non, sorry, non-tampered non um, envelopes and then brought to this centre, the magisterial centre, where the tallying goes on. From this place, you have all of the party agents situated here, they, with observers as well. They open these envelopes, they go through the results and then they feed them into the system and it's done in this manner to ensure transparency it's done in this manner so that parties also can corroborate what was given to them by their party by their agents at the polling places don't forget that these in from this information that is brought to this center has already been signed off by party agents at the polling place and so this is the next step towards the final declaration of results. So from here, as you see, this will be inputted in the systems and then the, the, it will be f the final collation will be done at um, the National Elections Commission for the results to be declared. So basically, it's building transparency and ensuring the credibility of in elections so that by the end of, the, out of the, the process, the outcomes are acceptable to all. But most also more important, it also ensures that at any point in time where any party has an objection to what is brought to this level, they have the proof to support their statements to ensure that should there be any dispute it is evidence based it's not on it's not it's not based on any accusations that are unfounded and to ensure this the, the timely um, adjudication of such disputes so this has been replicated in other counties within Liberia yes it's replicated in other counties. so Liberia has 15 counties for the more populous ones you have the magisterial centers um, or the collations that the tally national ta the, sorry the county tally centers Centers divided in two. So Monserrado here where we are being the most populous um, county in Liberia is divided into two upper Monserrado and lower Monserrado and is made up of about 20, 20 stations each of them um, doing an, an one part of the Monserrado county. In all of the other counties this will be going on. In Monserrado fortunately the road network and infrastructure is much better so you will see that um, Monserrado being one of the, the counties that is keenly contested and which of course once elections is keenly contested that there are always the simmerings of um, um, you know this dispute or discontent so this provides um, a, a quicker a quicker assessment of 
the, the tally results here. In Nemba County, which is also one of the keenly contested counties in Liberia's elections for 2023, you have again this um, county divided in two places, upper and lower Nemba. That ensures that we are able to coordinate our, our, um, the tally, the, the results as quickly as possible. Hello, good morning to you. Thank you so much for staying here on the AM show. I'm Bernice Abubedu Lansen, just gone by. You saw my colleague Nanaya Ojima interacting with one of the observers from, uh, from ECOWAS in, in relation to the Liberia elections. He joins us via Zoom for some more updates on what's happening in that country. You know how it goes. Uh, it's very fluid and the, the, the figures keep coming in as and when. Uh, Nanaya, is there any updates, especially on the results that are trickling in from the Liberian elections? Uh, results out there are the only results that are present, this is present so far. We're expecting the Electoral Commission to come back to us at 4 p.m. to give us updates on the results. They've scheduled meeting with the press every day till 25th, 4 p.m. every day to ensure that whatever new results that they have out there, they present that to the, pre uh, to, to, to the press. So far, the results that have been, been given out are results from 16 polling stations. That these are polling stations, not counties. 16 polling stations, um, just polling, not even uh, a present. Now, these polling stations come together to make a present. For instance, in Ghana, we say constituency, and the, these are polling stations. They come together to make one constituency. So we'll pick results from the polling stations, put them together as present, and later uh, put all of them together as counties and present to the people. But presently, what the um, Electoral Commission has put out there are results from polling stations. And compare the results that um, have come out now uh, from two different counties, 16 polling stations in two different counties. Uh, Mr. Boake, Joseph Boake, the opposition party, is in lead. Less than 3,000 votes difference for him. Um, George Oponwea is still behind Mr. Boake. The other 18 candidates, the, the, the figures they got are nothing to write home about. So this is what we have for you presently here in Liberia, Monrovia to be precise, concerning the results that are trickling in. And Nanaya, we, we know that we've been told that the results that we've seen so far are inconsequential, obviously 16 of these uh, polling stations, but is the Electoral Commission in Liberia giving any reason for uh, what appears to be a seeming delay? This election ended on Tuesday, today is Thursday, and uh, the results are not coming in as fast. Per the calendar of the Electoral Commission, the final results are to be mentioned or to be called out on the 25th of October. So this is um, expected. They were expecting such a slow collation of results. Uh, from what I witnessed in the um, various polling stations that I have visited, the sorting and counting of these ballots uh, take a lot of time. Um, they, they, they take their time and ensure that everybody or all the representatives of the various political parties or candidates are satisfied with the, with, with, with the process. So one after the other, they pick the ballot papers, show it to every each of the 20 uh, uh, you know, representative of the aspirants or the candidates and ensure that they are satisfied with what they've seen on the paper before um, they, they go ahead to continue with the business. So um, it's, it's a very, very slow uh, process. Mind you, this is the first time Liberia is organizing its own election after uh, after they accepted democratic rule before the, before now the United uh, United Nations they took control they they were leading the election process itself so this is the first time so mistakes and you know uh, it's, it's things that would delay the process I expected and that is how they they, they drew the whole system so um, it, it, per the, the 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 information that we have the system is supposed to take some time and secondly before these 
results are accepted, the ballot papers and the results will have to be trans transported to the head, the, 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 the regional, the county offices of the Electoral Commission. And from what we have experienced and what we have witnessed or the things that we've learned so far, some of these um, uh, counties have very, very terrible roads. There are some places that um, it took helicopters to be dispatched from Monrovia to um, these areas to get observers and other ballot materials to, 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 to these places. So uh, these areas are, have very terrible conditions. So all these were factored in before the EC came out with a calendar that um, they're expecting the results, the total coalition of the results to be done by the 25th of October. Um, this, uh, the, the, from, from what we as observers from Ghana are witnessing, uh, you cannot compare what we are seeing here in Ghana to what we are seeing in Ghana to um, what we've witnessed and lived in, in Liberia to be precise. Uh, things here are a bit slower and the system is not as robust as we have in our country, Ghana. Finally, Nanaya, what have uh, the political parties been saying that's if they've been speaking at all and what have citizens also been saying about the entire process? So far, none of the 20 aspirants have come out with any comments, but what we've been able to gather is that um, they are all expectant of the results of this election. And uh, b before, before now, we, we got the opportunity to go into the streets and talk to some of the people within Monrovia. And what they are, they are saying is that they're expecting credible election. They believe that whoever wins um, only if the results are credible, they will give their support to the various um, persons who, or the, the individual who is elected as president. So Monrovia is very calm. The people are expectant of the results. Um, it's early days yet for any of the supporters of these candidates to go onto their streets and start jubilating, um, uh, you know, in terms of the results that have come out so far. So things are very calm on the streets of Monrovia. Hi, Aljima joining us from Monrovia, Liberia with updates on the elections there. Do stay with us. This is your election headquarters and we are still stationed in Liberia bringing you all the updates you need on that very crucial election. You're still watching the AM show. Coming up shortly, we have a conversation about Peja, a writer's project. Do stay.